I had a friend who told me Fact. years ago, he was one time I was chilling and I got a call that Puff wanted me to come over. I pulled up and yo, he wanted me to like play with Cassie's seeing this, that, this, and this, 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 this. Yeah. And he would sit there and film it and he was playing with himself. And I, and in my mind, you know what I said? You're a clout chasing, lying, manipulative. Oh my God, I can't trust. I but now it's not hanging out. out with him. But at the time when he said it, I really thought he was just crazy being a clout chaser. I, and That's I, and, his thing. And, no. then, and then full circle, I had to go. I had to call him. I, had to, I went back to New York for something. I pulled up on him and I said, I'm sorry. I don't work for Diddy. I took my show off the network before all this happened. I'm not loyal to Diddy. We're, we're not friends by any measure, but I respect him and what he's done. If he's done something guilty and he's found guilty in court, then he should be held accountable like everybody else. But this new world of let me put everything I want to say, but can't say online without getting a defamation suit in a law. Jason Lee and Diddy's friendship goes way back to when Jason worked for Revolt. Having a strong bond with Diddy, Jason was once a regular at Diddy's parties until he discovered something that made him change his mind. In an interesting twist, after the feds raided Diddy's mansion, Jason called out Diddy, revealing everything he knows. Diddy white parties weren't the Diddy that... I'm afraid to even. I, I we ain't talking about no white party. You're said. afraid to acknowledge you've been to the Diddy parties. No, I've been. No, I'm not afraid of. I've been to the Diddy white parties. I've been to Diddy's birthday parties. Uh, I wasn't at Diddy after dark. I yeah, was at people the act party. like I'm crazy when I say, yeah, I would. I would have gone to the Diddy party Diddy. because number one, up until a couple months ago, it did not have this reputation that there was Every, all this no, seedy no. stuff happening. No, 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 right? no, no, no. Everybody. It always had the reputation. Really? Diddy? That's a fact. What? Really? You don't notice how I mean, I just have never heard that. And your homosexuality radar is much more sensitive than most people. What do you mean homosexuality? You're radar? like really concerned Who's with making about? sure that you're not accidentally pulling up on a gay woman. Who's he's, talking he's, about he's homosexual? Trying to, he, he's trying to mix in. I'm not talking about that did he have homosexuality. Right? Right. Zestiness, whatever you want to no, call it. No, no. No, it's just the party. Right? It gets to a certain time at his parties where if you showed up there at eleven o'clock. By three o'clock, you're probably not remembering <clears throat> how you showed up at eleven o'clock. When you Shit go to a big on. fancy celebrity party, to the limited uh, extent that I've done this, I would assume the freak offs are taking place in you know the master bedroom in a in a different nook of this, like the part where all everybody else you is. No master the last bedroom. Last time I saw you was at French's house. I know, and I assume there were some freak offs taking place, but it was it was out of the the line of sight of the average person see, at the party. I, but see, when I when you go to Diddy's party, I, well, let me say this: maybe there's different access. I've I've I'm when I'm I'm in the backyard. I don't go in the house. Right. Wait. What have you always heard me say? What? We don't leave the backyard. Yeah, I say in the backyard. We don't go in the house. But up until a couple months ago, if Diddy had come up to me and said, hey, we got to go in back, I'm going to show you something. Well, I I've been, said, let's go, Puff, yeah. But and then all, what if it had showed you something? In all fairness, in all fairness, let me say Might this. Might have to take a look. In all fairness. Oh, wow. All, all fairness. <laughs> not, not if there's any, like, unwilling no, participants no, 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 or no. anything, but, you know, no, no. if he in said, all, hey, wait, check this out, wait, I'm going to have to say, oh, shit. In all, fair, in all fairness, I have been in the house when, during the, when the parties have been happening, like, not in the back rooms or like that. And I've not seen anything crazy. Right. I, I've actually, I actually, I can't find it on my Snapchat, but I do have a video where, Cassie and everybody just dancing and having a great time. I don't know what was going on in that house. First of all, in Diddy's defense, I've never seen or heard of anybody being manipulated or forced to do mm. If you pulled I've up, never heard that you pulled up for your reasons. Now, I had a friend who told me Fact. years ago, like three years ago, we were literally in, uh, having dinner in, in New York. And he goes, hey, man, because he, he used to be a Sean John model. I'm like, yo, so, you, you know, we were talking about modeling, the modeling industry, and, and we used to do this thing where we would get together. He's straight, I'm gay. We would get together with a small group of us, and we would just eat and just be and just gossip. Mm. It really is what it was. And he said, man, I've seen the craziest shit in this game, bro. He goes, one time I was chilling, uh, and I got a call that Puff wanted me to come over. This is all allegedly. He says three years ago. Wanted me to come over, pull up. I pulled up, and yo, he wanted me to like play with Cassie's, seeing this, that, this, and this, 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 this. And he would sit there and film it. And he was playing with himself. And I, and in my mind, you know what I said? You're a clout chasing, lying, manipulative. Oh my God, I can't trust. But I now it all comes out. Believe all victims. No, I literally. 
No. Not all, but. But was he a victim? No, no, he was consenting. So she doesn't say to the point. Yeah, but, somebody, if Puff calls me, I want you to f this hot ass chick. Okay. But this, is, this is all allegedly, but at the time when he said it, I really thought he was just crazy being a clout chaser. I, and That's I, and, his thing. And then, and then full circle, I had to go, I had to call him. I had to, I went back to New York for someone. I pulled up on him and I said, I'm sorry. Mm. Because what he said, Listen, can up. I ask you a question? This is real. Cause that's the exact from her lawsuit, right, yeah. Right. Adam, this is real. I mean, actually both of y'all, I think y'all like, everybody has their thing, whatever it is. If Diddy's thing is to get willing participants to f girl or whoever it may be while he watches, that's his thing. And it's not, you right. can have your personal opinion about it. If there's other people out there that that's their thing. You have your thing, right? You do p that's your thing, right? So I don't look at Diddy like, I don't say he's a weirdo, right? Well, it's I, all the other stuff that makes no, him a weirdo, yeah, right? I will say the overly abusive Yeah, the abusive stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. That, if it, I, I don't got nothing to say about whatever the was doing with willing participants. I don't even who, as long as they're of age and, and willing. they're willing, willing. Yeah. I don't care. And they're gonna come and take that baby from you. You really need to just stay out the way. Give Blueface his phone back. Why does she have Blueface's phone and where is Jaden? Weren't her and Jaden friends and Jaden put out her number and now Blueface, I can't call him because she got the phone. It's 2024 far away, how many more days we got? <laughs> How many more days we got to 2024? 10. 10. Ten. We're not going to make it. Now, Diddy them bit TD, TD Jakes over and I don't even want to imagine that. And that's so crazy that y'all would even say that about a bishop. I can't. I'm going to pray for y'all. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pray. I really am. I'm going to pray for you. Oh, all of you. It's sad. I have a headache in two parts of In another explosive interview, Jason Lee opened up about a chilling incident when Diddy threatened him for taking a picture at his house. Why did Diddy threaten him? Was there something to hide? Everything that's happened with Diddy right now. Yeah. Like, how does that affect you? Real relationship, these are, I'm pretty sure you've built a relationship with him respectfully over the years of knowing who he is, what he represents. Yeah. Your show was on Revolt. Yeah, I don't have a friendship with Diddy. He's not my friend. We don't hang out. We've texted a few times. I was on his network. I've been to many of his house parties. Um, and let's start with different silos of Diddy, right? Okay, on one hand, cultural icon. He's done a lot for music, fashion, culture. He has a school, had a school. Network ownership, one of the few black owners of a network. Um, musically, he's inspired the world for years. Um, as a human being, he's had lots of conflict. He had Tupac's death, Biggie's death, all the drama. We had the shooting with J-Lo, Shine went to prison. Maybe he shouldn't have went to prison. There's always been these stories about Diddy being evil. I've heard he was the devil. I heard he was evil. He even once threatened me. But I don't know if it was the De Leon or Ciroc or if the just felt this out, but I was taking a picture in his house and he walked over and he said, don't you ever f try me. I'm letting you know right now I'm a different type. I said, do you want to get in the picture or not? Because I'm drunk, you drunk, and I ain't about to do this with you. Yeah, he got in the picture, took the picture, he said, f what you made. If you don't get your crazy Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde ass out of here. But you know, that was the little experience I had with him. But every text was always love. It was always cool. It was always nice to me. When I see him and Cassie together, I have a video somewhere on one of my Snapchats, them dancing through the house and having a great time, all love. I mean, I've seen Diddy have to hire extra security, almost the military, to stop people from wanting to scale the wall to get in his house because on the other side of that wall is Beyonce, Jay-Z, and every big star you want to know. T.D. Jakes was there too, but I don't know if he was busting up, but I'm just saying. Because hey. they said that too about the good bishop. This is what I hate about the internet. If you say it is true, if you think it is true, if somebody retweets it is true, everything ain't true. I don't know. What I'm just saying, the fact that they said the bishop was busting open, I honestly had to take a break that week because I said, what we not gonna do is take a man who's touched the world, pause, or whatever, and in a way that all of us have felt it in our spirits when we've needed to be filled up with the word of the Lord and we just go, we, castrate we, him yeah. that way. Yeah. But anyway, back to Diddy. 
We saw his kids the other day in handcuffs. Did we see Ivanka Trump and Trump Jr. in handcuffs? But they daddy got and they Spider-Man climbing up the wall to kill the vice president and take over Congress and stop an election. But we ain't seen a mugshot or nothing because we're teaching people watching. Black and brown gonna be treated one way, white gonna be treated another way. Black and brown gonna be cannibalized and evil and, 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 and vilified. White folks, it's a misunderstanding. We won't call a mass shooting in this country terrorism because white people are killing everybody. We gonna call it a debate over guns. No, it's terrorism when you go into school and kill six-year-olds. This, you know, Kamala Harris, biggest issue I have with her is that she just has not been able to put her feet solid on the ground with the culture and understand she said that America's not racist and now is running around to every black church that will welcome her in there because she got some white person advising her telling her that's the way to get the black vote. So I feel very passionately about these things. I think with Diddy, what we're watching is we live in an era where celebrities got to be careful and got to got to be fearful at all times because all I got to do is put everything I want to say about you in a lawsuit. Let TMZ or Hollywood Unlock or anybody run the lawsuit because you can't sue a lawsuit. It's a public document. Mm -hmm. So it got out to the public. So the, they did their dirty work. And then regardless if you're guilty or not, you're going to lose everything. For sure. And then by the time you get to court, you lost it all. And okay, yeah, you didn't do it. It's crazy. So I'm not saying that Diddy didn't do it or he did do it. I think if he goes through his process like R. Kelly did, but we saw the R. Kelly tape, so we knew he did that. Y'all kept dancing in the name of love and asking if you could fly. You saw that did to that little kid, you. But anyway, with Diddy, we didn't see all this stuff. I saw him and Cassie embracing each other, dancing and you know, whatever. Um, and then she said what she said. We we don't know if it happened or didn't happen. We know she got a bag. We don't know how much. And then that opened the floodgates to dog pile on Diddy. And Diddy's lost it all. He's lost the school that was helping black kids. He's lost his clothing line that none of us were buying at Sean, at Sean John over at Macy's. He lost Revolt. He he lost his Grammy nomination. He lost he lost the, the deal with Ciroc. And he was getting 50 million a year. Don't get that deal's gone. He's lost it all. And then like, we're happy about that. I don't understand. No, it. we're not. Online, not us. Not. Yeah. I'm not happy or not happy. Because I'm just like, wow. Because what you're saying is, it's propaganda, right? It's it's something that's shunned or like, hold on, shh, 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 on one side, but on the other side, it's magnified to say these type of people are bad. When when I look at the whole situation, I'm saying to myself, I don't know what side to take, and I'm not going. It's just too much to handle. Mm -hmm. But I see what's happening and too many people are being affected. Me being a father, what does his children think? It's not fair, right? And I think one of the things for me is, it's a lot of people that live vicariously through you, indirectly and directly, that is impacting your life. I know his you know, beautiful twins, and I'm saying to myself, like they're at an age now where, do they even go to school? Mm -hmm. Like. How is that even happening? Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously, you know, his sons was in handcuffs. And those are just the things that I'm like, yo, but Vanka, you know, Donald. I know Justin. I don't know Christian as much as I know Justin. I know I've known Quincy probably 15 years. Even though Jason Lee is not a fan of Diddy, he has often spoken about Diddy's kids, expressing admiration for them, and that it was unbelievable for him to process the news of Diddy's sons getting arrested during the raids. You know, he Puff was a guy who really, you know, I, I worked in MTV for about 18 years, and Puff was a guy who helped me extend, you know, my business acumen, shall I say. You know, um, really cool guy, fun guy, you know, through some very memorable events, you know, shall I say. In the, within the culture, music culture, you know, he's someone who we look up to, you know, um, one of our musical heroes, so to speak. Right. You know, we, obviously, you know, the man has a, a private life, you know, that goes on as well. In regards to um, to 50, you know, it's, this is rap, it's hip hop, you know, as we refer to it as and it's a competitive sport and you know when 50 cent came in the game you know 50 came in the game you know with this really rambunctious very aggressive right um attitude i'm gonna go after all the big guys so he this is just another page from out of his book but then being professional there had been some you know uh reports you know that puff was uh kind of familiar with um with daphne in right. the past so I don't think that, you know, I like Jason said, like obviously seeing her name 
and paperwork doesn't help, but um, I think a lot of it is driven more so by the competitive spirit of the sport. Right, but this is a weird time to do it, Jason. Um, I mean, because this guy's got some serious allegations hanging over his head. This isn't Diddy's music sucks. You know, I don't like his new sneaker brand. You know, this is they're hunting this guy for major felonies. And Fiddy seems to be sitting on the sidelines cheering. Now, that could be for one or two reasons. One is he knows things or suspects things about Mr. Combs. The other one is that he's just got a real perverse sense of competition. Well, I mean, listen, one thing I, w I know for sure is that when it comes to our culture, sometimes we cannibalize our own more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've seen the former president of the United States inspired the country to turn into Spider-Man and climb up the Capitol to overthrow the government in the middle of an election. But yet we haven't seen his mugshot or seen his kids handcuffed. I know I've known Justin for probably 15 years. I mean, I'm sorry, Quincy is one of his sons and and uh, and uh, his other sons. Those are really good kids. So to see them in handcuffs, to see them put on display as criminals or to be uh, put into the conversation that they somehow are ushering underage kids into the compound for their their dad to have their way with them. Those aren't the kids that I know. Now, let me be also clear. I don't work for Diddy. I took my show off the network before all this happened. I'm not loyal to Diddy. We're, we're not friends by any measure, but I respect him and what he's done. If he's done something guilty and he's found guilty in court, then he should be held accountable like everybody else. But this new world of let me put everything I want to say but can't say online without getting a defamation suit and a lawsuit, let me leak it to the press and then have a person lose everything in order they, unless they give me a bag. I'm not a supporter of that culture either. And I just feel like what's happening right now, if there is some truth to it, I would love to see it come to light and see him be held accountable. But to lose everything and be uh, you know, hung in a, a court of public opinion only makes it easier for other people that look like me to have that experience too. And I'm not here for that. Jason, you do understand the culture and you do understand uh, the gossip that goes around it on a very deep level. Have you ever heard that Sean Combs was involved in drug trafficking, trafficking of uh, minors uh, or of weapons? I've never heard that. I mean, you, I've heard Diddy's the devil, Diddy's evil, Diddy, you know, Sean shouldn't have went to jail for Diddy. I've heard all the rumors that everybody else has heard in the culture, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're ears the streets. I've had only one run in in Diddy that I thought was weird. Uh, I was taking a picture at his house and he came up and said something like, yo, you know, don't ever try me with, you know, with, you know, trying to come for me because, you know, it'll be a problem. But that's I think he had too much daily on. I just said, do you want to get a picture or not? We took a picture. He moved on. Those are those are really good kids and I'm gonna call them kids even though they're grown but they're really good people to see them in handcuffs like that I ain't gonna lie and I don't know what's going on on both sides and I'm not a Diddy defender let me be very clear if he did it he should go to prison you know everybody that I've talked to says something about Diddy he's evil he's this he's that but but how can you say that wait wait but let me finish okay if they, they you can be an asshole you can be evil you can be pure evil you could be a thief in publishing you can be all these things but that doesn't mean that you got your kids who are good kids out going to find young teenagers to bring back and have sex with. I don't know that to be those kids. If they, if, if they find evidence that they did that, it would literally shock me because I know them and I don't know them to be those people. And I've never seen a kid at Diddy's house other than his own children. So I don't know Diddy to have a bunch of kids running around his house. And I've been to many of the parties. I haven't been there overnight. I haven't been there when the party's in. I don't know them intimately like that. So if it happens, I'd be like, wow. And then he should be held accountable. But I just, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I can't wait to the day that we stop rushing to judgment and taking everything away from people before they have their just due uh, time in court. Because you're setting up the next person for it to be easier for them. And the attorney that's behind this lawsuit that just launched, I just found out it's the same guy who went after Tiffany, who went after Nicki Minaj's husband. After he had served his time and all that, came back and said, oh wait, he went Nicki, now let's get this bag. You trying to do woo woo woo. And then it got quiet. Same per he's an ambulance chaser that even tried to drag me into some And I had secretly filmed him, or recorded our conversation and put it online because I'm just not that one. I, I'm not afraid of nothing. I want all the smoke. So when I look at a lot of these celebrities that have all these brand deals that are tied to millions and millions of dollars, they can't, they don't have the freedom to go and advocate for themselves. So they just sit there and watch them just get destroyed. And I feel like for me, no matter how successful I get, I'd rather lose it all by standing up 
for myself and what I believe in and standing on what is and, and, and against what is not than to sit by and just watch me lose everything being silent. After leaving Revolt, Jason Lee launched his very own podcast show where he doesn't hold back on his opinions. Recently, he reacted to Diddy's apology video and well, it's everything we expected. Where I've talked about being anti-cancel culture. I was head of media for Kanye West. I worked with somebody and for somebody who I helped bring back from cancellation and then quit right before he went back into cancellation. So I understand, but this is different. You know, it's one thing to take ownership for things that you've done and be held accountable in the public eye and deal with it in private and work through your trauma and then re-enter the culture. But did he said he didn't do it and then now this video proved that he did. So you were gaslighting us into believing that you were another black man being taken advantage of and lied on. When really you paid that millions of dollars and paid that $50,000 hotel to hide us from seeing you for who you are. Now there's alleged other videos out there that I may get my hands on, but I'm trying to stay away from, but people are trying to throw it at me of you allegedly Allegedly. Doing this to other people. So when you go online and say, It was all a lie. It really wasn't. Uh, when you saw the video, what did you guys think? Did you say we should forgive Diddy? No, I thought it was performative and I thought it was a cookie cutter PR response to some you did that you didn't think you were going to get caught doing. Um, he didn't apologize to Cassie in the video. He didn't acknowledge the fact that he lied to well, in everyone. fairness, in fairness, he contractually was not able to yeah. say her name. Mm -hmm. he, even if he didn't say her name, he didn't really apologize to the people who were affected by what he's mm -hmm. done. He could have said that. He didn't have to say her name. But and he also didn't acknowledge the fact that he blatantly lied to everyone via social media the week before, two weeks before. Like, bro, this was it was so performative to me. It's so obvious too. It just came out because he got caught. That's it. If the video never came out, we would never get any type of ownership. Well, Diddy's video apology was not received well at all. Now, the first people to react was Cassie's legal team, and this was a statement that they released. One of Cassie's lawyers, Meredith Firetalk, issued a statement Sunday saying, Combs' most recent statement is more about himself than many people he has hurt. She adds, when Cassie and multiple other women came forward, he denied everything and suggested that his victims were looking for a payday. Of course, she's referencing Diddy's strong denial in December. Uh, this after he'd been sued by yet another accuser post Cassie. Now, Fire Talk says that statement rings hollow with her adding that he was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false, shows his pathetic desperation, and no one will be swayed by his disingenuous words. Well, of course, you know, 50 Cent was having a field day. <laughs> by the way, 50 Cent privately is a nice guy. Like 50 that 50 Cent is nice in person. But he's a terrorist on social media. This is what Diddy, uh, this is what 50 had to say about Diddy on social media when the assault video dropped. Remember, here, look. He posted this, enough is enough. And then he went on saying, the lie detector has determined this was a lie, Maury vibes. <laughs> he posted that when Diddy's assault stuff first happened. And then when he apologized, this is what 50 said. This is not going to work. Who is advising him right now? Shaking my head, bad move. And then he promoted his cognac. <laughs> Another denial post resurfaced along with Diddy's 2022 BET Awards Lifetime Achievement speech. Now, I was sitting in the front row when he said this because that was also the speech where he shouted out his baby moms and stuff with um, Young Miami sitting right there holding up a poppy sign or something. Remember, mm -hmm. we talked about that on the show. Um, anyway, Diddy's denial post was Cassie's longtime friend, Tiffany Red, who also was a songwriter that was previously mentioned, suing Diddy over music related issues. Tiffany went viral by posting this. Take a look. Cut it out, Puff. Cut it out. So you were disgusted back then, you're disgusted now. So let me ask you a question then. Was that the last time that you did that to her? Was that the last time you did that to any woman? If you're so disgusted and you went and you got all this help and you feel whatever. And if that's the case, why did you why did you um, say enough is enough and say that she was lying? Say that um, you know, all the things in her lawsuit are not true. That incident was in her lawsuit. I remember that incident because I was around. Remember? I remember her telling me about how you spent $50,000 to get rid of that video. Watching that video the other day was crazy because I thought no one was ever going to see it because of you. And now you're sorry? Really? 
cry me a river, bro. You're not sorry. You're sorry you got caught. And I'm glad you don't want forgiveness because ain't nobody giving it to you over here. You know what you did. You're fine with your behavior. That's the bottom line. That is you. That person on that video is part of you. And that part of you needs to atone, needs to take whatever is coming to you because you have already sown these seeds. In one of the latest episodes of his podcast, Jason Lee took things up a notch by issuing a bold warning to Diddy. Diddy, you finna get a Rico. Diddy, you is finna get a Rico. As I read this, all I see is R-I-C-O. And I ain't talking about my former assistant, this Rico. <laughs> now Diddy's denying all of this, okay? Now, remember eyebrows were also raising Big's death, uh, and Biggie, who was reportedly leaving Bad Boy during a fight over publishing. Diddy allegedly told B.I.G.'s lawyers, I will never give it up until I'm dead and my bones are crushed into powder. Kim Porter was allegedly, allegedly coming out with a book about Diddy and then she suddenly died. Now, Kim Burroughs also claims when Rolling Stone offered Bad Boy a cover months after Biggie's murder, he told Diddy they should honor him, but he allegedly said, no, he's dead. I'm putting out my album. I need to be on the cover of Rolling Stone. And here's the cover of Diddy on Rolling Stone. A day after Rolling Stone published their investigation, CNN reported that the feds obtained an alleged surveillance video of a male sex worker. Inside Diddy's home. Now, I know a male sex worker that was in Diddy's space once who told me that he allegedly allegedly was asked to mess around and play with Cassie in front of him and master while did he masturbate and filmed it all and I remember three years ago saying you're insane there's no way like I thought he was a cloud chasing ass lying ass whore if he's on a tape baby I know I'm getting that exclusive because I know exactly what it is well the tape was reportedly obtained during the March raids and whomever the feds can identify on the videos and photos they are contacting them for their probe I shouldn't say the word probe here but it's in the teleprompter well one person identified as a male worker claiming to have been victimized by Diddy. So the feds are planning to use him as a witness in a possible grand jury indictment along with the accusers who have filed civil lawsuits against Diddy. I would ask the question, did he do it or did he not do it? Did he did it in terms of what we saw in the video, but do you think Diddy did all this? Yes. Yeah, and then some. <laughs> not to Lock mention, we, we didn't mention that he allegedly allegedly blew up the car, Kid Cudi's mm -hmm. car. Mm-hmm. Now, they asked me recently on News Nation, is Diddy connected to a street gang? All these rappers and singers are connected to street gangs. Street gangs are the underbelly of this industry. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into who the people are because I, I, I like some of them. And I'm okay with some of them because in order to make things move, in order to make things not go awry, sometimes the street people are actually the people that keep this thing grounded. Because there's a lot of these artists out here that want that got their money to go kill this, go beat this, go go bring this person to me. Bring this person to me is words for kidnap. Because you ain't bringing me to nobody unless I want to go. If you pull up at my house and tell me I need to go somewhere, you're attempting to kidnap me. I'm reporting you and I'm going to testify. I, I, I'm waiting for an indictment so I can go to court every day dressed in all of that Alexander McQueen and point fingers and tell. And I'm going to tell <laughs> on everybody. Now, I will say it's sad to see an icon like Diddy, who's so important to the culture, fall. But I actually love the fact that a lot of you are starting to be held accountable because this industry is built on a lot of people's ego and power trips where you think you can do whatever you want to people. And then there's people like me out here with all the money getting taken advantage of that. I'm, I'm over that, too. That's why none of you are allowed to come over. Anymore. But Diddy, it's sad to see it. But if you're as evil as they say, this is karma reaping its revenge. And I know that people probably expect me to defend Diddy because I have been the one saying I got to be fair until I see it in court. And I still think he needs to go through his court process. But the walls are closing in. And I think I'm going to say now, I think we're going to see Diddy in handcuffs. Not that we want to. We've already seen his kids. But I think we're going to see Diddy in handcuffs or we're going to see something that we've never seen before. Remember, they took putting pop Bill to prison for a long time thinking he was guilty. He was found guilty and then he got out. So what make you think they're not going to make any of this stick to Diddy? We seen the video. We didn't see putting Pop Bill, Pop Pills, but it was enough to get him in jail. We seen him beat the girl. And we've yet to hear from Cassie. And I'm hearing that Cassie's hiring 
PR strategist to help her really navigate through this, this thing. Right now, Cassie goes to Rite Aid to go get some bubble gum. Do you know how many cameras will be following her to get her? Uh, see here? Cass, Cassie knows all the powers in her hand. She's playing her cards real smart. Well, anyway, I'll be here watching. Did he go to jail? Yeah. Did he go to jail? I pray to God. That he goes to jail? Mm -hmm. You pray to God? Mm -hmm. I pray worse than jail on Diddy. Okay. Those are her thoughts and prayers. Period. Bye, Diddy. <laughs> now let me give you mine. So what do you think? Will Diddy be in court anytime soon? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss out on any new videos. And until then, fam, keep it real.